Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel like somebody is paying people to get information on you. I don't, it almost feels like maybe they're paying some hackers. <sighs> I feel like they're paying some hackers, um, you know, people that can break into your stuff on the computer, trying to find out um, what you have, where you are, what you're doing. Um, I feel like you need to beef up your security here during this time, okay? Or just keep a very watchful eye. They may even be trying to break into some kind of financial account okay so you know your bank accounts or something like that I'm getting the strong sense that somebody is paying for something here but they want info okay with the Sun or this could be you this is like exposure right this could be you finding out who's been doing this to you okay because they're they're hiding they're keep they're trying to keep hidden but they're paying other people to help them. Yeah, it's like um, they're pretending here. They could be, this is like, I'm just getting this undercover energy here off of this hermit card. Um, somebody who's talking to you already, maybe on social media, but under a fake name, a fake profile. Okay, so be really careful who you give your personal information to, who you tell anything to, okay? Because it may not be who it is that you think it is. Um, I, I'm getting the sense that this person is hiding. That's like they're under a cloak, right? They're hiding and pretending to be like a friend of yours, okay? Um, trying to get information out of you. Yeah, I don't like this. This could also be somebody posing to be someone else that you may trust, wanting information from you. Yeah, blocked. And you have this person blocked off the social media, blocked off your phone. Um, so I feel like they're posing as somebody that you may trust to get hidden information from you. Be very careful, right? Protect yourself. This is you also beefing up security, okay? Protect yourself from this person. They're really trying to infiltrate your information or your website or, I don't know, your information on, on the computer. Um, they're tr really trying to do that during this full moon, okay? I would say right now, you know, if there's anyone new that tries to friend you or, um, I mean, say you have a, a public platform and there's a lot of comments on your stuff. You guys, I get so many comments, I can barely keep up. My emails, sometimes emails just get lost, okay? Um, so yeah, it, it could be something like that. And maybe you're talking in, in the comment section, you could be talking to this person here. I feel like they really just want to bring you down. I feel like they are working with other people, paying other people to find info on you. Um, yeah, be careful who you're talking to, right? The King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who could be very like, I'm just feeling this instability off of this person. Mental instability. They're definitely not grounded, okay? Um, yeah, I don't like the way this energy feels. Clarify this King of Pentacles. And, you know, with the Two of Swords here, you're very intuitive. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Leo. Um, but, and you don't have to be, you could even have that in your chart somewhere. But with this blindfold here, you see how you're blindfolded? You're picking up on this energy intuitively, intuitively. I feel like you already know who it is that I'm talking about in your life, right? You already know that they're going to be trying to attack 
something of yours during this time. You already know that they're starting to lose their mind over this, I feel. This person could also be financially unstable, or they could have a business that's unstable. They may be trying to get their hands on your money, okay? Or you could have a business that's doing really well, and they may try to, you know, hire a couple of people to try to bring it down, something like that. I feel like this person is mentally unstable, I got to say. There's like no, no, they're not grounded. They're not stable in reverse. This could be somebody who's very paranoid, um, who has a lot of anxiety. Uh, it could be somebody with, you know, already having some mental health issues, right? It could be somebody who's in their head a lot. Um, it's almost like they will believe their own illusions. I don't know. They're delusional. They've got mental instability. They're thinking about you. Yeah, this is being unstable. If financially unstable, mentally unstable. Okay. I feel like it's both. They've been going downhill. It with the like um, with their mental issues ever since they walked away from you. So I feel like you have pulled your energy back. All right. You're in this beautiful, strong, confident Empress energy, very grounded, very knowledgeable, um, stable, successful, independent. And this person, I feel like ever since they walked away from you, They've slowly started to um, deteriorate, okay? Their mind has been slowly deteriorating ever since they walked away from you. And now it's th this person has reached a point where I, I feel like they're losing it. Yeah, look. Yeah. And I, I'm kind of getting the sense that this person is being stripped of everything by the divine, okay? They're losing their mind. They're losing their health. They're losing their mental stability. They're losing their money. I feel like they're about to lose either a job, maybe a home. They're having a hard time paying bills. They may lose a business. I feel like there's a lot that they're losing here, okay? Okay? And they're being stripped of their abilities. So this I'm getting could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. Thank you. That was a confirmation. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. So this is your divine counterpart here, laying on the ground, being stripped of everything. Okay? That's what I'm getting in this. People are looking at this person like it's a shocking sudden change. Okay, this could make them feel very sick as well, okay? Yeah. I feel like you're being protected just with the placement of the cards. Because this person wanted to come in and apologize to you, but Spirit is saying it would be like a fool or a page, right? A fool or a page coming towards an emperor. Um, whether you're feminine or masculine, you're in your empress, emperor energy right now. It's the emperor that drives the chariot. You have learned your lessons. You've been put through it. You've been dragged through hell, and now you're coming out of that healed. Okay? Healed, stronger, and smarter than ever before. Um, and this person, if they were to approach you, I feel like spirit is saying they're just not ready. They're doing some really shady things behind your back. They're, um, they're hiding the fat, the, they're hiding the truth. They're, um, lying about things about who they are when they talk to you. I feel like they are trying to communicate. Um, you may even figure out that this person's been talking to you through a fake profile, so you could have blocked them already. 
you know, they're um, doing something sneaky here and hiring other people to find your information to bring you down somehow. So spirit is like, this person's a fool. I, I, I'm just feeling like their, their apology means nothing. Like they don't really mean it. Okay. And um, yeah, I feel like this is a warning to stay away from this person. You could be dealing with a Virgo, heavy Virgo energy. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. You could be a Cancer, Leo, Gemini, Taurus, Aries. Yeah, this person, they'll only betray you again. So Spirit is protecting you from them. They're giving you a warning here not to speak with this person. Not to speak to them and to beep, beef up your security. Um, I just said beep. I don't know. Maybe while you're listening to this, your phone beeped or your computer beeped. That could be a specific confirmation for someone. Um, but yeah, they want you to um, beef up your security. Keep a watchful eye over your stuff. Um, whoever they hired, these people think that they may be able to, you know, hack into your stuff. So, I would keep a very watchful eye over it. Anything that you've created, okay, anything that you've built up. Yeah, all this person is doing is trying to think of ways to bring you down, to wreck you somehow, to betray you somehow. That's all they do is like lay here and think about what they're going to do next. And that's why spirit is keeping them from you or protecting you, warning you about them and stripping them of everything. They're no longer a divine being. This person is being turned karmic. Okay? They didn't do the work on themselves. They continue to try to attack you, and you're focused on you, okay? In Empress and Emperor energy, it takes a lot of time, energy, effort, and focus to reach this kind of status, okay? Um, definitely, I feel a divine being here with the chariot. I don't know. I'm just picking up on that, you know? Um, but yeah, you had to learn every queen in the deck. You've also taken on feminine and masculine energy that, that takes all of your focus. So you haven't had anything to do with this person, maybe even for years, because this takes time too. And you've only been, um, you've only been paying attention to your own business basically. Yeah. And working really hard. Okay, I mean, I feel like you had to climb out of a hole. You were really struggling before. You started a project of your own. You worked on it, toiled over it, right? Put your blood, sweat, and tears into it. And now I feel like you're reaping the rewards from all of that. Okay, a lot of success, a lot of abundance. So this took a lot. I mean, you've gone through a, a huge life transformation here. So you haven't had anything to do with this person, and they still have their nose in your business. Spirit is telling me here that you're innocent. That's what this is. You're innocent. You haven't had nothing to do with this person. So, I mean, if they're going to continue to attack a divine being for no reason... Um, they're being taken down. This is, I, look, every reading I've done today, you guys, it's, uh, it's all about spirit just being fed up with people, really. I mean, I've picked up on witchcraft being done during this full moon and people that want to come back around with bad intentions, okay? Spirit isn't taking their BS anymore. There's going to be zero tolerance for these people, okay? Zero tolerance for anybody wanting to do you dirty. And it's like they're getting instant karma. Even the divine masculines or feminines that didn't want to change. Even, you know, here's the thing. 
we're all under judgment. Everybody's being watched. Okay? And Spirit's not going to let any more attacks come towards you. Spirit's not going to allow this to happen. And I feel like as a divine being on a spiritual path here, whatever you've built, you had the help of the divine, the guidance of the divine. Spirit put you in this position on purpose, okay? Because you have power, because you are on a mission, because you have divine work to do. So what spirit has brought you to can't be undone. It can't be taken away, okay? The most these people um, that are attacking you in this way, right? The most that's being done here is that they're being tested and they're being seen trying to harm you, an innocent. Okay? And um, that's sealing their fate here. Like, this is serious. They're getting serious karma for um, constantly trying to give you serious attacks. Okay, They're, this person is constantly trying to affect your life, play with your head, take something away from you, okay, constantly. You know, so spirit's bringing them down. Look at how many things they've tried to do to you. Look at that, ten. Ten swords, ten things they've tried to do wrong to you. And spirit is saying, enough is enough already. Stop attacking the anointed ones. You know, yes, and you are anointed in earth angel energy. You bet you are. Um, so spirit is protecting you here and bringing down your attacker, bringing down this person who constantly tries to betray you. They can't do it anymore. What, they've been doing this now consistently for up to three years or longer for some of you? Yep, spell work sabotage all because you have wish fulfillment all because you're happy without them you've healed from them and you're living a beautiful life okay but this is this is wish fulfillment you've been blessed um, big and small blessings right over and over and over again in in increments along the way I feel like this is all rewards for each test you had to learn okay and now you're you're being rewarded because you've learned all your lessons or each test you had to pass i'm sorry you've learned all your lessons you've passed all your tests so each time it's like you get you get blessed and now you you've got you've gotten blessed so much that you're living a really happy life you, you could have been, um, upgraded, right, into a new home or a new job, but you're getting wish fulfillment here. And that's why this person keeps trying to attack you. That's what this is. Spell work for years, sabotage for years, trash talking you behind your back, trying to ruin your reputation, dragging your name through the mud, through the dirt, okay? Getting peep other pe paying other people to attack you as well. Spirit sees everything that they're doing. You could be um, getting ready to like make a major accomplishment here or reach like a huge goal. And that's a big threat to this person. They don't want that, ha that to happen for you. They don't. They don't want you to reach your goals. They don't want you to grow higher. I don't know why this person is so obsessed about you, but they are bent. Like, literally, they're bent on bringing you down. Sorry about that, everybody. That's another thing, too. My camera keeps dying during these readings today. I know there's, like, spell work or bad energy sent to you, okay? I know there's some kind of plan, again, to bring you down. Stop your success. Something Okay, yeah, but spirit is stopping this person. Oh, they're going to regret every bit of this. Oh, they're going to regret every bit of this. I'm telling you. 
people have been warned. Touch not the anointed ones. What are these people like? Are they not listening to any of this? Like, um, I'm sorry. I keep getting upset today because I keep seeing all of this spell work and stuff being done. And it's ridiculous because these people are warned. They, they've been told what will happen to them if they do this. And they do it anyway. They, like, try to be defiant to God, okay? I don't know why these people think that they have more power than God. I don't know. But um, they just don't stop, so spirits got to stop them. There could actually be somebody who could even pass away from doing this stuff. I've picked that up in the readings today as well. But they are not to come towards you. Actually, I just, I want a few more. What's going to happen to this person? Clarify the Five of Cups, please. Three of Pentacles. They're working together with other people. Yep, to go against the Earth Angel. So what's going to happen? Oh, they are fools. I'm telling you, they're fools. Because you're guarded by this Pentacle here. You're protected here with the world card, okay? And these people are for the devil. I am telling you, they're going to get tossed to the devil. They're being stripped of, if this is a divine masculine or feminine that's doing the attacks, right? They are going to be stripped of their divinity, their blessings, their money, their, their stability, their very foundation. They could be stripped of their health. Okay, they could be stripped of their abilities. Chariot, because you, you're an emperor energy, and you, um, you're divinely led here with the chariot. Again, two chariot cards for you. So you will be having a victory, and this is no blockages being in your way. Okay, this is a lot of fast forward movement here with zero blockages. So whoever was trying to block you, I am telling you now, they're going to be brought down. And spirit is showing your enemies no mercy, none. It's going to be very abrupt. Okay, they're not going to have time to even think about what's happening. It's just going to... I don't know. Spirit is going to bring these people down. Um, only God knows what their karma is really exactly what's going to happen. But um, no one's allowed to throw anything in your path anymore. No one is allowed to try to stop you. Okay? Um, and Spirit is making sure that no one is even going to continue to try. And they're done. Spirit is fed up with your enemies. And look, they're going to be mad, mad, big mad. This is all they want to do is come around and attack you. That's it. Spirit's not letting them. I'm also picking up at um, off of this that the, your ancestors could be getting sent in. Ancestors and spirit guides to... Um, to kick these people's aces, okay? I'm, I kid you not, and toss them into a pit in spiritual jail. They are not allowed to keep attacking you. They're not allowed to do it. Spirit, immediately, this is immediate, immediately stops them from doing this, okay? Any spell work is going to be returned to these people, all right? Any spell work they've done, thinking that they're they're more powerful than God. Um, yep, that's going to all be returned to them and canceled out. It, it's not going to touch you. Oh, these people are in some deep trouble. But it's that's on them. They didn't listen. There may also be a Queen of Wands energy. This is feeling like a karmic to me. Just the look on her face is just like kind of evil. She's going to have a tower moment as well. I'm seeing this as a feminine, a woman. There's a man and a woman here. They're both going to get some karma. This could be exes, friends, or family. Okay, take it how it resonates with you. It could be anybody, but 
Yep, for all the work they did. Oh my gosh, during this full moon. I'm telling you, they're do they're gonna try to do even more spell work. Oh, Spirit is going to give them an instant tower for this. This is like instant devastation, is what it is. Spirit is sick and tired of the spiritual attacks on you, okay? These people have no right and no reason for doing this. So the divine is bringing them down any way that they see fit. Someone here could actually pass away from what they've done. Some of these people, somebody here could be experiencing a house fire as well. Yeah, and here you are, the Empress, and you know what's happening for you? You're getting blessed. You're getting blessed some more. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is turning now. Uh, doors are closing to the past, and new ones are opening up for your future. So you're about to get um, more opportunities. You're about to meet new people. Um, you're, there's going to be positive changes coming in your life. Okay, a lot of abundance, stability, growth, and success here coming for you. I feel like if you own a business, that's going to just take off. Okay, um, money is going to roll in, more money, more blessings. Because I feel like the blessings that, that this person from your past could have had with you, those blessings, they're being taken from them and given to you. So, yeah, your life is about to be blessed in a huge way. And they're going to be, like, like I said, losing their health, losing their home, losing their abilities, losing their stability, losing their money, losing jobs, and losing, losing, losing. Okay, whoever continues with their spiritual attacks on you, whoever this person is, they're the biggest loser. They're going to be losing everything. And you're going to be gaining everything. Okay, you're about to be blessed and rewarded. Oops, wrong deck. Rewarded for everything that you've been through and all the work you've done on yourself. Okay, what else can you show me here? Yes, blessed in a big, big way, in a huge way. Yep, all that glitters. Um, yeah, you're like, why do they, you know, I'm seeing this as two things. Why do they keep attacking you, number one, because you're not doing anything to them? And I'm also seeing this as, why do they keep attacking me? Because they know that the spell work is going to be returned to them at this point. It's ridiculous. It is. It's so, it's so dense, man, you know, um, like they keep getting warned that spell work's coming back, that spell work's coming back, the spell work's coming back to you and they still keep going with it. You know, it's just, it's dumb. Um, but you, you're getting blessed. Look at all the blessings being dropped to you here. And all that, um, all that glitters, this is the Ten of Pentacles in this deck. So you're about to be possibly extremely wealthy as well. A lot of abundance here. This is a lot of money because you did the work. Because you did the work on yourself. I feel like Spirit is going to bring you to this extremely stable, independent foundation. Okay? And then a new soulmate shows up. So you're about to get new love, too. I feel like they still have some balancing out to do when it comes to your finances. Because Spirit wants you standing strong on a solid foundation and being independent. Okay, before this new soulmate comes in. But this, you're getting love, too. You're getting a lot of money, financial independence, and love, and success. Okay, that's what you're going to be getting in this new cycle. And I feel like, um, you know what it feels like, you guys? It almost feels like this super moon. 
kind of, um, <clears throat> it's tempting your enemies. The energy is tempting your enemies to send you spiritual attacks in one form or another. And that temptation is trapping them. Okay, it kind of traps them, not just to um, get all that spell work back, but it, it corrals them in so spirit can strip them of everything. Like in doing this to you, they, they're kind of falling into their own trap. Okay, but yeah, um, this person from your past, man, they they are they're just going to continuously lose now losing 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 while they keep getting hit with their own spells and um and you with the good intentions you're moving forward getting all of these blessings okay